Hey everybody, this is Donna with Johnny G's Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa. Today I'm sure there's 2010 Honda Odyssey. This is the absolute edition. It's got 106,000 kilometers on it, which is approaching 66,000 miles. Before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on the lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come onto the lot. Also, if you're arriving to Okinawa soon or you just arrived, Please make sure you stop by Johnny Z's Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show you the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos. going to answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the road tax, the warranty. I cover all those and more. So please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. This Honda Odyssey is a seven passenger vehicle. In the uh, 300 series category, so the larger category, road tax per year is going to be 19,000 yen, which is about $140 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we're going to take care of the uh, 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about it until next April or May. Yeah, I do have two ways to pay for this. First one being US dollars cash out rate, which could get you a larger discount, or take advantage of zero percent financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers would like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Before we go inside, I was like showing the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way for rains. It's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is it's going to give you a cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a good windshield visor. You see how large that dash is. You want to keep that dash as cool as possible. So get yourself a good one, okay? All right, let's jump in inside. Let's get this baby started. But first, if it has this tag on there, which it does, you want to keep this in a safe place. That's going to help you replace the keys if you lose them, okay? But don't lose them. They get expensive. All right. I see there's a little sign in here. That means there's something that, that my mechanics have to check out. Uh, saying one of the mirrors is bad, so that mirror doesn't uh, retract in. So we're going to get that fixed. We're going to turn that radio off. Sorry, Troy. And then let's sneak this inside. 106,228 on the odometer. Let me lower this fan just a little. Show you a couple of uh, warning lights. Uh, that one, obviously, your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. And that circular one is your um, is your um, emergency brake. This one is a kick type. So when you kick it, disengage, it goes away. You kick it again, comes right back on. Other than that, very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. Anything pops up on a dash while you're driving, please pull over, find out what it is. Take the necessary action. Okay, uh, off the left here you have your monitor. This one does have your uh, camera and it looks like it has the one of those fancy ones that uh, show you from above, okay? And then I don't think it has a side camera. I'll look for that real quick. Oh. So there, oh, okay, so it has a front camera as well. Yeah, and all you're gonna do is push this one over here. It's next to the uh, navigation controls. It'll give you the different um, uh, different um, positions for the mirrors. Okay. Uh, then you have your uh, air conditioning controls, radio shifter. This is for the navigation power outlet. And then uh, continuing to the left, you have your glove box. Then a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. That is your passenger space over there. You got your red row flare hanging out. Then this is the space I have on my side. Uh, the seat is all the way back, all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Um, I'm pretty comfortable right where I am, or I can slide this up an inch or two and still be comfortable uh, driving. Oops. Put that back to the... That. Okay, and it does have a, a center armrest here. Uh, give you a little extra uh, space for some coins or whatnot, and a little storage underneath that. And it gives you two cup holders and more storage, as you guessed. And it gives you a USB port as well. All right, let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers like on most vehicles. All the way back. Now I'd like to take this time to show you the auction sheet, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. It's graded non-accident from the auctions up in mainland. All these other dealers out here can't tell you that. We can on all our cars. Okay? Um, and some dealers will try to discredit this auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. So this is graded 3.5 from the auction for, with a CNC on the exterior interior. So it's a pretty good grade for this. It's going to be up here on the sun visor on the driver's side. So you see that for yourself and we can also help you decipher that. Let me put that back up there, give my mechanics a heads up. Okay. 
All right, so let's show you a couple other things before we go to the back seat. All right, so it looks like it might have some traction control. It looks like the rear wiper uh, compartment here for some coins. And this guy hanging out in there, that's your ETC reader. That's your electronic toll collector. This works like easy pass in the States if you're able to get the car for it, uh, card for it for the expressway. It does have cruise control. I'm not sure you, uh, you'll use that. And then way back here, you have your hood release. Okay, please don't forget that's there. On the door panel, you have your mirror, door lock, and window controls all right here. All right. I don't think I'm forgetting anything else. Oh, it has an aftermarket uh, dash cam as well. All right. Let's uh, turn this baby off and let's head to, and that's probably what this is connected for, uh, for this dash cam. Let's head to the second row. Okay. All right, so with the seat all the way back, all the way down, about almost three inches away from the back seat to my knees. Nothing as far as storage on the back of the driver's seat, but you have pocket storage on the back of the passenger seat. As always, be careful what you put in there. You don't want to rip it on each side. And a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. Okay. This does have a, a, um, a center armrest that comes down. You do have to lift up on this lever to, to bring it down. It doesn't stay level. I'm, I'm, I'm always uh, displeased with that. I wish it would. But it does give you uh, cup holders as well. All right. So put that back up and then it does have the controls for your um, fan and the temperature over here and it does have uh, vents that go all the way back now to get to the back seat well you're gonna that all right let me uh, rephrase that so to get to the back seat all you're gonna do is lift this up and that's gonna go move the slide forward you get to the back seat or if you lift this lever this is gonna go flat okay now I can see that somebody already had this down so this seating is stow and go, all right? So let's lift this back up. And then, okay. And that's basically your space back here, all right? You have a cup holder over here, a cup holder over there, a little bit of storage, and then just a little pocket right there as well. And then to get the seats down, again, you're gonna uh, pull that, that's gonna go flat. Uh, get both of those flat. You're gonna pull this up and then pull this one and that's gonna bring it back down into this compartment here, okay? I think that's about it. Show the engine compartment. I'm gonna wrap this video up. All right, there you have it. A good old reliable VTEC engine. 2.4 liter VTEC. Nice and clean. All right, there you have it, 2010 Honda Odyssey Absolute Edition. Uh, Absolute is a uh, different interior, different wheels, and a, li a little bit different on the exterior, okay? Um, 106,000 kilometers on it, which is approaching 66,000 miles. Military prices in on 5,400, an additional military discount. We'll get it down to 5,200. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on a lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. For now, the 5200 will include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty, the tw uh, 2024 road tax, and the 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be your American insurance requirement. Will they go liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick, yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealer, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles, then stop by Johnny's East Cars at a show we have, what our program is all about, and how it can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. One of the many reasons why we did win the Stars and Stripes, Best Pacific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car in Okinawa Award. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. Don't forget two ways to pay for it, U.S. dollars cash out rate, or take advantage of zero percent financing for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Uh, please like and subscribe, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.